Hello, uh, I'm Dean uh, from Housebox, uh, and this is a quick, very unprofessional uh, video, which will be followed by a slightly more swanky looking affair. Um, just a little video tour of uh, my latest uh, large conversion project. Um, it's a Leyland DAF uh, Roadrunner 1989. Um, it's been a full restoration and conversion. It was in absolutely horrible state uh, when it got brought down. And I'm just going to show you around quickly, show you the ins and outs. Um, before I show you the truck, things that uh, I can't take credit for on this, a little help from my friends, is uh, first off the extensive mechanical work that has been undertaken uh, to get it back to a safe quality MOT standard um, is undertaken by a man called Andy, uh, aka the Truck Whisperer, uh, absolutely fantastic mobile mechanic, I cannot recommend highly enough and these guys have saved a good couple of grand uh, from uh, not having it in a garage and having Andy look at it instead. If you'd like any more information on, on Andy and the services he provides then uh, please don't hesitate to contact me through the website www.house-box.co.uk or email dean at house-box.co.uk um, also on top of that the uh, welding work uh, the cab was falling to pieces uh, the guys uh, had it delivered on a low loader and it wasn't really going too far um, we've had absolutely amazing welding work undertaken by uh, a good friend of mine called Edward um, who's actually a sculptor uh, by trade but also does some welding work on the side um, here are the wheel arches if you've seen from the before photos they were absolutely shocking um, he's done absolutely genius work here uh, can't credit the guy enough uh, completely remade both sides with wheel arches uh, at a checker plate at remarkable speed as well um, here is uh, the front of the vehicle um, as you can see it's uh, it's got a tilting cab this one so we've had to engineer uh, these frames at the top here uh, they actually open in two halves the window suspended in sort of one crescent shaped uh, half of metal um, then we'll check a plate at the front there uh, courtesy of that Goulden and uh, again there's the wheel arches on the other side uh, just for all you metal geeks absolutely beautiful stuff uh, the vehicle's actually going for its MET tomorrow uh, so we're all, all quite excited about that I uh, can't see why it wouldn't fly through um, you can see now the vehicle uh, also, uh, the one other thing that I didn't do was the two opening windows, there's a large one on either side. Uh, that was a gift from a friend of the client um, called uh, Mr. Adam Worley. Um, these long ones though, uh, there's one on this side and two on the other side, I did actually put in myself. This is the back of the vehicle, uh, the clients do intend to get uh, a nice big canvas uh, to have it as an enclosed space, uh, similar to my own vehicle over there. Um, here's the back door. Um, this one isn't actually technically a, going to be a motor caravan, it's going to be a showman special. Uh, the clients I've been doing the work for actually uh, aerial acrobats. Uh, they do a discipline called the cradle, which is a bit like a sort of a bit like a solid uh, trapeze. Um, and they're going to be using this uh, sort of when they're on tour and whatnot. They do a lot of work with the Invisible Circus in Bristol. And currently you're on a five year world tour doing the Batman live show, which is, is very nice. Alright for some. Um, here's the back. Bathroom window there, that's an opening one. That little door is for the compost collecting toilet. You can see it's got a couple of little computer fans built into it uh, using minimal power and to help keep the air circulating and to stop any nasty smells. Uh, here's the back door, here's the Dutch door, open and tight. And uh, let's go inside. I hope you enjoyed that uh, fantastic little piece of editing uh, that I did there. There's some media studies A level, certainly not wasted. Um, so here it is. Here is uh, here is the truck. It's all there. Burner, wood store, shelving, it's a large wardrobe, drawers. This is the wet room. What's the wet room outside? All covers at the end here. All part of the kitchen. Small computer area, media centre, side door, uh, control centre for the electrics, the Luton bed area, all part of the tilting cab system. And there's just waiting for the upholstery to be done here, but that is a, a bench seat which also houses the water tanks, the batteries, and sort of lots of other sort of uh, technical sort of gubbins. Um, the wet room again, uh, this wasn't done by me uh, on the inside. <laughs> 
uh, the clients tiled it and fiberglass it inside, which is very grave. It's not a very fun job fiberglassing. Um, let me just have a quick look in here. I don't want to snoop too much. Lovely sort of chrome hot shower there with fantastic uh, hot water consumption. Nice round tilting opening window. These are the doors. This is actually made from some of the leftover timber when we reclad the outside. It's uh, all western red cedar and sort of utilised the different natural shades there to get like a striped effect. Uh, small windows in the door there with frosted glass, also at the top there. Uh, the idea being so that the uh, light through the large background window uh, gets diffused into the chuck area itself. It's a large Dutch style opening door at the back here. Um, as the guys are performers, and this is a showman's vehicle, it wouldn't be complete without uh, a dressing room. Uh, we've actually got push sensitive switches in the doors here, uh, which open up. And then you get these large, large sort of mirror areas. Um, it does also have some super, super bright lights up there, operated by a little push switch here. Um, but uh, the bulbs are out of those at the moment. Uh, you don't quite see that in all its majesty. Um, up here is the, is the uh, water heater, complete ventilation. That's a, a Renai. Uh, I think are you 3158 or something? Fantastic heater, it's on demand. It, it's, it's not the cheapest, uh, but you get unlimited water, a stonking hot supply. Um, all of the kitchen cupboards here, um, they've all got these little super, super strong uh, German magnets recessed into the doors to, to hold them shut. They're also all equipped with, uh, again, with push switches, which are here, which operate these little lights. Uh, again, these are SMD. LEDs and I've built them into the cupboard so there's no wires or anything on the top there uh, just we've just routed out the channel so that the bulbs can sit in there and then there's no risk of anyone knocking anything uh, which is handy this is uh, in my truck uh, in the evenings it's quite dark and it's not always easy to see what's in the cupboards um, so I wanted to do that for these guys lovely idea of the herbs and spices with the lids there this kitchen area Contact. We've got Belfast sink, a uh, small Belfast sink, um, 240 sockets. Again, there's more lights sort of built in to the kitchen here. Um, and again, sort of down the bottom, uh, lights in the cupboard, held together with the magnets. Um, what else? This is the, the hub of the electrical system. It's a Stecker PR2020 charge controller and a Blue Sea uh, bus bar 12 gang fuse box out there controlling all the 12 volt monarchy. Uh, there's also a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter um, built in down here, which is turned on via that switch, and that powers a uh, 240 socket there, shaver plug in the wet room, and also 240 socket just down there. Um, musically, there's couple of 6x9s just recessed into the cupboards here um, and they're powered by this amplifier inside this cupboard here that is a fly one if I flick this switch it turns it on it lights up with that, uh, with that fly that lights up I think that that's a deal breaker to be honest it's quite a cool cool thing um, power wise there's three 80 watt panels uh, on top of the roof which you're not going to see here I'll just sort of get a bit of the roof in and again just tongue and groove and there's a natural curve arc in the roof. Um, yeah, 380 watt solar panels on the roof uh, which charge by the stecker 2 times 225 amp uh, sealed lead acid batteries which are in here absolutely massive, about 50 kilos a piece. Um, it's stonking, excellent quality and they are lasting very well. The guys, the guys are trying their hardest to, to run the power down and they're not really having much joy so far. Um, in here it's just access to the water water tank. There's a 240 hookup and a water inlet on the outside of the truck. Um, down here we just have more, more storage. Here we've got a beautiful wood burner, which the guy's got for 50 quid. It's an old narrowboat burner. Uh, you can tell where it's got a four and a half inch flue collar, um, which is traditionally narrowboat size, but we've adapted it for, for a five inch flue. Um, here's a picture. Uh, of Darren and Gemma, the clients. I think Darren did that for Gemma's birthday, which is lovely. And also above we have these light, light fittings, um, which I've retrofitted. Again, SMD G, SMD 5050 G4 base bulbs into there. Um, the tilting cab, I'll probably paste a couple photos in uh, over this on this uh, high-tech video that I'm producing. Uh, those two fronts are they swing completely open, and then the bed is split into the bed frame is split into two parts. 
made from a uh, 50mm by 25mm metal box section. Uh, lined either side with ply and uh, with Sellisex insulation in the middle. Um, they're not the lightest but they, they are just about manageable for one person. Uh, there's a little laptop point up there which, uh, which the client made, very happy with. Um, other than that, we've got a wood store area here, I thought it was good to have that near the burner. And that way it can sort of help with the seasoning process. Um, and there's some more shelves here with lights. I did a similar thing here, I just built them up with plywood. So there is, in fact, a bulb underneath, which is in the first layer of, I think, 12mm ply. And then there's a 9mm ply top, and then a bit of 18mm sort of ridge here to stop things falling off too tragically. Um, window wise, it's just hard to see where it's so light outside, but these are very long windows that I made out of some glass that I managed to uh, acquire off an old friend of mine. Um, they're really nice having these nice long windows uh, because if you're somewhere with a nice view as, uh, as the evening sort of draws in you can see all the different uh, spectrum colours of the sky. It's really really nice. Um, so I think... Uh, what I missed? I think, I think I've covered uh, just about everything uh, now actually, this whistle stop tool. Um, okay. um, also here there's a, there is space for an oven which the guys want to source themselves and just a little hob for the time being that's been recessed into there. Um, there are fittings in the cupboard here uh, for a gas bottle to be taken. Um, to be stored inside and also on the turn at quick fit fitting uh, so you can use a larger gas bottle outside if you're parked up for sort of a longer longer amount of time. Um, I hope you like the truck uh, very much. I, I'm really really pleased with it uh, myself. Um, I'm already very busy with a couple more conversions so if you stay tuned to www.house-box.co.uk uh, and then you can keep up to date with all the latest and all the info. I'd um, like to give a special thanks once again to Darren and Gemma for being absolutely dream clients to, to work for um, and as being excited about the entire process as, as I have been myself. I'd also like to say thank you to uh, Adam Worley who did the large opening windows, uh, Ed Gordon for the fantastic welding job and again Andy the truck whisperer. Uh, I'd also like to dedicate this build to my fantastic grandfather who I love very much uh, and has always been a source of inspiration to me and also chuck me a little tools top man okay uh for housebooks this is dean uh, signing out one love